to tell you about the love of Jesus and how Jesus died on the cross for your sin, how He loves you, how He went and took a beating, a beating that most men could not have received physically and died because He was nailed to a cross. Now the world would tell you what I'm doing is preaching hate speech because they don't want you to understand what true love is. Mankind cannot know or learn what love is okay without first knowing the author of love and according to the Bible we know that author is Jesus Christ there's only one God a theist God the Bible says there are three personalities to that God that would be Father Son and Holy Spirit but the world would tell you that there are many gods and that there are many roads to salvation they would tell you that Salvation in heaven is like cable TV. Just go ahead and pick a channel. Don't worry, you'll make it there. But I'm here to tell you that the good news of Jesus Christ happens to say it's a lot different than that. The Bible says that there's only one way through eternal salvation and only one way to get to heaven, and that's the name of Jesus. In the Hebrew, you would pronounce his name Yeshua. I'm a Shiach. All right. Um, I'm willing to discuss, debate any of these issues with anybody here today. If you believe in a bit, uh, different faith system, I respect your choice to choose and believe. God and Jesus are gentlemen. They will not force themselves upon you. This is why you were created in the image of God. And when God created you, He gave you the gift of free will to choose. So God will not force Himself upon you, but the Bible says to be separate from Him is eternal damnation. The Bible says that there is a place called hell. Okay? And without accepting and confessing and believing in your heart that Jesus is the Messiah, that the only other recourse you have because you will die the Bible says death is appointed unto a man once on this earth. The Bible also says that there seems a way that is right to a man, but that way only brings him death. But if you don't accept Jesus, you will die in your sin. It is your decision where you will spend eternal salvation. Most people don't want to hear about it because they don't want to have to look inside of themselves and accept the fact that Jesus paid the price. It's not difficult. It's not hard to see that everything that has been taking place in the recent years of what's going on in the world, especially in the United States of America, where we are supposed to be the example for the rest of the world to follow. We're supposed to be the land of the free, which we all know we're not. And we're supposed to be the home of the brave. And we're also not the brave. In recent times, the government has gotten so powerful and have grown so large that they control every aspect of our lives. They control e-commerce. They control industry. They control all levels of education. Okay? And in each level of education, they call it public schools. They call it college. They call these institutions of learning. They are indoctrinating our children into accepting things that we, most of us, would probably not accept. But because we're so concerned about being demonized and mocked and made fun of, we uh, are adapting the mindset of communist China and communist Russia where we're concerned about our social credit score or our social appearance where people just don't care about morality anymore. Morality is no longer important in the United States of America. And I want to share with you, the devil knew from the very conception of Hollywood what exactly he was going to do with Hollywood. Because the people that first started Hollywood back in 1920 were cult leaders and they worshipped evil spirits and mediums. They were holding seances and they were asking the same spirits that most of your pop stars are consulting today. 
And they're asking them how to grow Hollywood and use that form of medium to deceive the masses. You see, human beings have very strange behavior. We like to look to somebody else that is either wealthier than we are, that is either more educated than we are, that has some type of position of power that we don't, or some type of key position of influence. And then we look at that person and we want to be like them. Instead of following the example that Jesus Christ set. Okay? And so this is what we have done. Do any of you know the meaning of gleaming? Gleaming is who are you uh, forming your beliefs after? Who are you learning from? Are you learning from the world? The Bible calls the world the influence of Satan. And we all know that Satan, well, he was the original counterfeiter. And since God threw Satan down out of the heavens with one third of the fallen angels, which we refer to on this earth, are demon or evil spirits. Some people refer to them as ghosts. But I'm here to tell you, since the fall of man in the garden of Adam and Eve, Satan wanted to do only one thing, and that was to elevate himself above the Creator. And God wasn't going to have it, so he threw him down here. 100 years, my theory, after Adam and Eve had went ahead and started to build a life in the garden here on the earth. Now, I know that there's a big religion that is formed in the United States of America. It's called the religion of evolution. And evolution, I want to share with you, if you're not aware of, is being taught to your children in public indoctrination centers or public schools. And what they have taught you is that mankind came from a rock. I'll say that again. Mankind came from a rock. Now, if you believe that, that's your choice, and that's fine. But in my mind, that would take just as much faith, if not more faith to accept, than Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and Lords of Lords. And I want to share with you, evolution is nothing more than a religion. Can anybody at any point in any time of history actually provide actual scientific evidence that the theory of evolution is actual science? And I'm here to tell you today, look it up. If you don't believe me, don't take my word for it. Matter of fact, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and look everything up that I'm telling you today. Everything that I'm saying, there is a certain amount of Christian creation scientists that have just as much science and evidence to defute the theory of evolution as evolution scientists have to try and do the same to God and Christianity. If you don't know what theist is, it means singular God. And I believe that there is a theist God that began the beginning like the Bible said. Maybe you're stuck on the theory of evolution and maybe you believe that there was some big bang that started mankind, that started the universe, that started everything that's taking place. So I want to make sure, and this is what I say to most people who support the theory of evolution. So I say to them, what you believe is that everything mankind can see with the naked eye and everything that we can't see with the naked eye all started from the size of a pin mark on a piece of paper. Because